Yo, what's going on guys? So today's gonna be a really quick video. Um all I wanted to address is that Spiritual Soul responded to me again, you guys, within a couple hours. And at this point I don't even want any drama or nothing, so I'm not gonna, you know, title this video Spiritual Soul Exposed or none of that. I actually feel bad that I came after all these guys the way I did, but you know, somebody had to say it, man. Like, nobody said this, you know what I mean? Like, I just feel like somebody had to say something. And I had to be that person to say something. So, you know, I will no longer be talking about any more spiritual YouTubers or none of that. Unless they do some really weird off-the-wall stuff that I have to talk about. That is just really weird. But, you know, for the most part, you know, I like... I appreciate everybody's comments. You know, that video, the two-hour video that I posted exposing everybody, it got a thousand comments, you guys, within a couple of days. So, people are talking about this, and that's the whole pur the, that was the whole purpose of the video, was just to get people to talk, you know, get people to talk about it, and get people to question things. Because there was a lot of people saying, like, man, I, I never questioned any of these guys, thanks for the video. You know, now I'm going to question everybody. You know, there was even people saying, like, now I'm going to question you, which is a good thing. You know, you should question me because I would even question me if I was watching me. You know what I mean? I question everybody. You know, I question can be. I question fearless. I question everybody. And you should you should, too. But with real people, there's not going to be much to question. And I'm transparent. I'm a transparent person. You know, you can DM me and I'll reply. Right now, I have like hundreds of DMs, so my bad for the people that I haven't replied to. But that's why I made this Patreon. So that if you want to talk to me, like, whenever you want, you can get my phone number if you subscribe to my Patreon. You don't have to pay 10 or 15 bucks. That's just for the people who really want to support me. You know, you could just pledge 5 bucks a month. And I will also be posting videos on here that are not allowed on YouTube. Because YouTube is just a pain in the ass. YouTube is just annoying with the way they don't allow you to talk about certain stuff. So that's why I wanted to make this Patreon so I can have freedom of speech. You know what I mean? Like YouTube literally doesn't allow freedom of speech, which, which is crazy to me. And it should be illegal. I don't know how it isn't yet. But yeah, man, um, my bad to all the people who subscribed already because I don't have any videos on here yet. But literally tonight, I'm going to record 10 videos for this patreon and also everybody who subscribes to my patreon will get videos that are that will be on my channel like a month ahead so like tonight i'm gonna record the juice world video i'm gonna record the Lil Pete video i'm gonna record the jojo video and i will be releasing them on the patreon you know within the next couple of days and those videos are not going to be on my youtube till like weeks from now so everybody on here will get to watch those ASAP. Except for the Lil Peep one. I'm going to drop the Lil Peep one within the next couple of days on my YouTube channel. But the rest, you know, if you want to know about Tupac, if you want to know about Juice World, if you want to know about, you know, everybody else, Ayesha Curry, I'm going to go through every single one on my Patreon, like, quick. That way you guys can, you know, get all that information. And on top of that, I'm going to be exposing things that I literally cannot talk about on YouTube. Like, I'll literally get banned and deleted for talking about it. So, yeah, if you guys are interested in that, you know, subscribe to my Patreon. The link is in the description below. And I appreciate everybody for the support. I just created the Patreon, so that's why I, I haven't posted anything on there yet. But literally tonight, I'll post my first video on there. So stick around for that. And, you know, if you're subscribed to my Patreon right now, DM me on Patreon and I will give you my phone number if you want it and DM me any social medias that you would like me to shout out and I will follow you back as well. I'm going to shout out the people on my Patreon first and more than everybody else but I still will be shouting out people who make videos about celebrities playing multiple roles. I'll give a shout out to somebody else who started their channel and they started talking about celebrities playing multiple roles. So it's good to see the influence I have, you know, in this community. And that's all. That's the only reason why I came after all these spiritual YouTubers. It's not to bash them or hate on anybody. 
I just wanted to do that because I was very passionate about this stuff that I talk about. And I was just kind of mad that I'm the only one with like with a kind of big platform, I guess you can say, that is actually speaking about this stuff. And it, it just blew my mind because, look, I want to tell you guys one thing. There is a reason why nobody is talking about this. This has to be the deepest rabbit hole on YouTube and probably in general. You know, all these celebrities wearing a mask. There is a reason why this is not mainstream. There is a reason why none of these big YouTubers that I called out are talking about it. And I'm not going to blame them anymore for not talking about it. Because today, after I saw Spiritual Soul's response, I started thinking outside of the box more. And I started to see the bigger picture of things. And I was like, well, even though they're not talking about celebrities wearing a mask, at least they aren't wearing a mask for the most part, you know, from what I know. So I can respect them for that. You know, they haven't like fully sold out to that extent yet. And at least, you know, they're saying real stuff. You know what I mean? A lot of these spiritual YouTubers, they're still saying real stuff. Don't get me wrong. But you still have to question everybody. And, you know, go with your intuition. Don't listen to anything I say. Here's another thing I want to clear up. I have a habit of like pushing my opinions on people and I don't do it on purpose. It's just the way it comes off when I make my videos. You know what I mean? So, you know, everything on this channel is my opinion. You know, you don't have to take it as fact. That's why I always say go do your own research and come back and let me know what I was wrong about or what I was right about because Clearly, I'm saying something right, you know what I mean? To get Spiritual Soul to respond twice and to get Nasty C, aka X, to respond twice, you know, clearly I'm saying something that matters and that is true, you know what I mean? There's some truth to what I'm saying, at least. So, you know, there's nothing wrong with questioning stuff, you know, don't get mad at me for questioning, it's always good to question. And yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say, um... I will no longer be exposing spiritual YouTubers because I'm starting to see the bigger picture as to like, you know, at least they're not promoting violence and, you know, killing like all these rappers are like NLE Choppa, like him, him I have to expose because he is still rapping about killing, but yet trying to be spiritual that I cannot respect. But as far as everybody else, you know, or I want to say everybody else that I exposed, because there's some people that I exposed in that two hour video that really needed to be exposed. And they really have some past, some hidden past things that you guys should know about. I'm not going to say any names, but, you know, I'll, I'll let you guys do your own research. And feel free to hit me up if you want to know who I'm talking about. But anyways, moving along from all of this, this video is just to say that I am officially moving on from this topic and I will no longer be talking about this. I don't want to keep making videos about spiritual soul because I know how it feels when somebody makes a video on me and I don't like it. So I, I can understand where he's coming from. And I actually feel where he's coming from because I really don't like when people make videos about me. But at the end of the day, you know, if somebody makes a video on you, it's not the end of the world. It is what it is and you know, it, it's always good to question everybody. So I don't blame people who make videos about me questioning me because, you know, I always say to question everybody. So it is what it is. Um, I love everybody. I love spiritual soul. I love everybody. I don't want any drama, you know. Spiritual soul responded to a couple of the criticisms that I made, like his subscriber count and a couple other things. He didn't go too in detail to really defend himself in those specific subjects. But I did notice that he never addressed the fact that he's standing in front of a brick wall with one eye symbolism on both of his profile pictures. So I'll leave that up to you, your guys' interpretations. I'm not going to say he's a part of the Illuminati because at the end of the day, I don't know him personally. So I don't know for sure if he is in the Illuminati or not, even though it is weird that it's in his name. But that is up to you guys to decide. You know, for me, all these guys are Freemasons, but that's just me. You know what I mean? That's just my opinion. I already made my video expressing my opinion on why I believe that. And you don't have to believe that. It's fine. You know, shout out to everybody who supported me, though. There was a lot of haters, but 
you know, I had a lot of people on my side as well. And, you know, I like everybody who criticized me as well because there is bigger and more important things to talk about than just people in the spiritual community. So that's why I only made one video with everybody in it. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say in this video. Thank you guys for the support. Um, last thing I want to say though about Spiritual Soul before I stop talking about him completely is shout out to the girl in my comments section of my last video. Um, sorry, I don't remember your name right now, but drop a comment if you're watching this video. But she brought it to my attention that Spiritual Soul's ex-girlfriend Ash has a Freemason ring. And as you can see in this picture, all over her Instagram, she's wearing this ring. And I can't tell for sure if it's a Freemason ring, but it really does look like it. It really does look like a Freemason ring to me. And feel free to screenshot and zoom in and let me know. I'm not 100% sure because it's very small. But it is pretty suspicious that she has that ring in almost every picture. She also has some weird necklaces as well that look kind of Masonic. But I don't want to judge her. I don't want to judge anybody because this is another thing I wanted to say. I don't blame anybody for selling out, you guys. Me and my brother had a discussion about this last night. You know, and we were talking about like, what if, what if you have to sell out a certain, at a certain point? You know what I mean? And it kind of makes sense because why would daylight sell out? You know what I mean? Like, that's what really got me questioning. Like, maybe... You have to play this matrix a little bit to really beat it. You know what I mean? Maybe you have to play this game a little bit to beat it. And, you know, it's very possible. You know, I don't blame anybody for selling out as long as they're saying real stuff at the end of the day. You know, as long as you're not hurting anybody and you're still saying positive things, that's all that matters at the end of the day. You know, whether they sold out or not, that's not my place to speak on. And... You know, because I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know how deep this matrix goes. Like, I'm starting to question everything. I'm starting to question my own belief system because I thought I had everything figured out, but I actually don't. You know, um, maybe you have to sell out at a certain point, you guys. I don't know. I, I personally will never sell out no matter what. But the reason I'm saying this is because what if when you reach a certain point, like, you have to sell out if you want to stay on the platform or if you don't want to get shadow banned or deleted you know what i mean so i don't blame spiritual soul for selling out if he did you know i don't know for sure in my opinion he did but i don't blame anybody for anything you know this matrix goes deep and it goes deeper than we can possibly even comprehend so that's all i wanted to say i appreciate you guys for all the support drop a like comment subscribe and don't spread hate to any of these spiritual YouTubers. You know, it's still good to make videos criticizing them in the way that I did. And shout out to, to Amir the One. He made a series exposing every single spiritual YouTuber. And that's good. You know, we do still need that. Just as far as for me with my big platform, I don't want to keep pushing that. Because um, I because here's the thing, guys. I still make videos with the perception that I have 700 subscribers. You know what I mean? That's when I started making videos. I'm humble in the sense that I don't see numbers. Like, you know, I have 9,000 subs, but to me, I still make videos. Like if I have a thousand subs, like I really, I still don't realize the big impact that my videos make. And every day I'm still growing and I'm still learning every day. So bear with me on that. But, you know, shout out to everybody who is, you know, motivated and inspired. We do have to question these spiritual YouTubers because I could be right. You feel me? Like all of these people could be major sellouts, Satanists, Freemasons, all that. So we still need that word out there. But as far as for me, I think the damage is already done on my channel. You know what I mean? I already made a two hour video. You know, there's I don't want to keep pushing it. But shout out to everybody else who is exposing them. We still do need that. Shout out to Tay Exist. He only has three subscribers right now, so go subscribe to him right now. He just dropped a banger, you guys, showing Nasty C's mask and everybody else. So shout out to him. I will leave a link to the his channel in the description below. Go drop a like, subscribe, and turn on all post notifications on his channel. I appreciate all the support from you guys, and I hope you guys have a good day. Make sure you're staying positive and raising your vibration. 
and expect a, a Halloween video on my second channel, Zanchez. I will be posting a video exposing Halloween today. And I will be posting the Lil Peep video tonight on my Patreon. And we just gonna keep it going, man. We gonna expose this whole matrix. And also, a lot of people were telling me to make a Discord server. So I just made one right now. The link to my Discord will be in the description below of this video. Shout out to everybody. I hope you guys are staying positive. Make your own videos, guys. We will all support you. You know, if we all support each other, we'll have a big group of supporters helping each other. And we can all help each other grow. And, you know, if everybody supported each other, we would all be straight. So that's pretty much what I want to do with this channel. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.